guys. Okay, you know what? I'm going to turn my car off real quick because... It's making, I feel like it's making my camera shake. All right, so today I have got another foundation video for you guys today and for myself. Today we have the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Liquid Makeup. This one. Um, right off the bat, totally cute packaging. I like it, I think it's adorable. I wanna say this was around the $12 mark, maybe $14 mark, I can't remember, okay. Sorry, I'm just checking my lighting. It was really good a second ago. Let me just do a little quick test. Mm, nope. There. I think we're just gonna have to live with it. All right, so I have a brush and a sponge to try this out with today. I, I think I watched one or two um, reviews of this and both were negative. Like both the ladies didn't like it. So we'll just see. Well, oh, came right out. All right, so the shade I think might be a little too light. This is the shade Ivory. It's pretty light. Um, it looks like it might be too light, but uh, we'll just go for it anyway. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and load this onto my sponge first. Then we'll do sponge side first and then uh, brush. Yep, too light. Whoa, whoa, okay. And crazily enough, this is already reminding me of the um, Makeup Forever, no, Makeup Revolution foundation that I just tested on uh, the other day. This um, seems a bit creamier and more, I don't know, spreadable, is that the word I'm trying to find, I'm trying to use? Um, I usually like Burt's Bees products as a brand and I like anything that's, you know, natural or whatever. Alright, so there's a close-up look for you guys. Let me go to the mirror. Mm, yeah, it's this has got that. It's doing that weird pigment thing. Just like the Makeup Revolution one the other day, just you can just see the pigment on your skin. It's just it feels like it's not blending in. It's just sitting right on top. So, yeah. Pretty similar, I'd say though to the uh Makeup Revolution one. Shade is a little bit light, not too terribly light. It seemed like it oxidized a little bit though on my hand. It's hard to tell on the camera. All right, let's get the rest of this. Let's see what we can do on the brush side. It's got a good smell though. It smells better than the Makeup Revolution one, that's for sure. A little tiny bit more. Yeah, this, it just doesn't seem like it's blending into the skin. It just seems like it's smearing around on top of my skin and not wanting to blend in. The light's going crazy today. It's too bright, it's too dark. Not a bad day today, it's kind of sunny, it should be nice, but... Okay, so the brush side now, just to be fair, I'll, I got less on the brush side because my sponge, I didn't, I wasn't sure how much I was going to use, so I think I overloaded my sponge on the sponge side, so... You guys can see that well. All right, well, I feel like I lost my brush. There it is. I feel like the brush side blended in better, but it's, look, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see very well, but it is like in all my pores and it's not smoothing them over, it's just filling them up and just looking like a bunch of makeup dots all in my pores. Um, 
So I feel like the brush is the way to go for this one because it blends it into your skin a little bit better than that sponge. But still, you can just really kind of see it on the skin. Like it's real crusty looking right here. Um, yeah, so, so far, not really a fan of it. I'm going to go ahead and build up a tiny bit. Let's see what the claims are real quick. Full coverage mineral foundation. Full coverage, eh, good coverage, but not full. Um, pretty similar, though, honestly, to that Makeup Revolution that I just did the other day. Um, I'm going to put a little bit around my eyes. I'm going to dab it on with my finger. It's kind of thin. I'm not sure, like, you probably want to make sure you give this a pretty good shake. And it's kind of sticky feeling still. I don't know. It's a weird texture. Probably just because it's natural. Oh, I had a mattifying spray that I was going to spray first as a primer, but I forgot. Just because I never use them. Never use primer, so. So, um, all right, let me check that little build-up area. You can just see it, you know, you just really can. You can see it and then like you have to be triple careful, make sure it's blended in good and then keep going over it and over and over it to make sure it's blending in and like it's transferring like um, I'm not sure if it's gonna set down Full coverage formula leaves skin smoother and more radiant with a natural finish that's not heavy or greasy. Um, no. Our moisturizing foundation inst instantly hydrates and nourishes skin with meadow foam seed oil, known for its skin moisturizing benefits for naturally beautiful results both inside and out. Um, so if this is meant to be a moisturizing foundation, it's not going to be the best choice for me because of my oily skin. So, um, as a first impression, it did feel a little bit moisturizing going on. Um, just remove some of that so I don't look like a dead body. Um, but, um, I don't know, uh, it feels kind of sticky tacky on my skin still, even still, even this side. Um, again, it's kind of crusty around my nose. Uh, I don't know, as a first impression, I'm not digging it, um, but I will wear it for the rest of the day and I will update my thoughts in the description below. Um, anything else I can think of? The good news about it is it doesn't seem like it's sticking in any of my lines and it does seem like it's kind of smoothing my skin out a little bit, but you can just really see it on the skin when you get close, up close. And um, I don't know, what is it? I mean, when you talk to people, are they about what, like a foot away maybe? So. You can still see it like if you're gonna go out into daylight natural daylight You're you're gonna be able to see this on your skin, and I don't think really that's what anybody wants um, So as a first impression, I don't like it But again, I'll wear it for the rest of the day, and I will update my thoughts in the comment or the description um, So thank you guys for watching uh, Please like subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye